There's recently been some pretty huge leaks and rumors concerning Apple's 2019 iPhones, so we thought we'd round them all up so you guys can get a good idea of what to expect in September. Let's get started. About a week ago, renders of a 2019 iPhone 11 with a triple lens rear camera were leaked by OnLeaks, but the implementation of the camera seemed far from what would be designed by Apple. The report from Digit IN didn't give any reason for the triple lens camera, but earlier reports showed that Apple was interested in Sony's 3D camera time of flight technology, which is able to map rooms in real time for augmented reality and increase camera autofocus performance. That sounds exciting and it totally seems like something Apple would do, but that rear camera design was awful. Thankfully, a couple of days ago, Compare Raja released exclusively leaked renders of a horizontally stacked triple lens camera. Now this one looks more like what Apple would actually release. The interesting thing we see here is that the flash is actually built into a ring around the center lens, and I'm loving this idea. Alternatively, Ben Geskin created renders of the triple lens rear camera in the same position as the current iPhone XS, and that may actually make more sense. Just yesterday, more info was leaked about the new iPhone 11. Compare Raja noted that two of the three rear sensors are 10 and 14 megapixels. Details of the third sensor are still unknown. The selfie camera was also noted to pack a 10 megapixel sensor, which I'm really excited about since there's still a lot of room to grow there. Recent rumors from Digitimes and John Baptist Sue claimed that the 2019 iPhone 11 would switch from a lightning port to USB-C, but Compare Raja seems to disagree. They noted that the 2019 iPhone will still pack a lightning port, but we won't know for sure until September. Either way, we expect this year's iPhone to come with a new 18 watt USB-C charger in the box. Concerning Face ID, Ming Shukuo is predicting that Apple will increase the power output of the Flood Illuminator, which should make Face ID more accurate. There's also a chance that we'll be seeing the implementation of Vein ID, which would allow Face ID to scan the veins inside a user's face, making it even more secure, but we may not see that until at least 2020. Another thing we may not see this year is the switch to 5G, and I'm totally okay with that. 4G LTE already supports download speeds much faster than what even the iPhone XS is able to achieve, due to cellular provider limitations. As for the notch, Ben Geskin believes the infrared lens and front camera on 2019 iPhones will be integrated into each other, making the notch smaller than it currently is. I for one wouldn't mind this at all, but what about the complete removal of the notch altogether? Now we most definitely shouldn't expect this until at least 2020, but there's possibly a way for the True Depth camera array to work from beneath the display. How? Well AMS, an Austrian company, recently launched an optical sensor that works from underneath an OLED display. This type of technology can be utilized by Apple to implement the Face ID sensors under the display. As for the camera itself, it could be hidden by using transparent OLED technology which is already being used by TV manufacturers. The OLED pixels above the camera lens would simply be turned off whenever you open the camera app or any other app that uses it. And when it's not in use, you'll get a full face display. Just don't expect this for another couple of years. A report from Barclays analyst Blaine Curtis said that the 2019 iPhones could feature Wi-Fi 6, otherwise known as 802.11ax, which will be anywhere from four to 10 times faster than the existing 802.11ac. To make it even better, it should increase overall battery life due to a new feature called wake time scheduling. As for display technology, Apple could be using Samsung's Y-Octa OLED panel technology in the 2019 iPhones. This would integrate the touch layer directly into the OLED display, making it thinner and cheaper to produce. For this reason, we may see a complete switch to OLED on all 2019 iPhone models, and as for Touch ID, don't expect it to come back anymore. Ming Shu Kuo says Face ID has become too accurate and successful for us to need Touch ID. He also said that we shouldn't expect better waterproofing anytime soon, since IP68 is already more than good enough for what most users will need it for. And there's one last thing before we end this video. Air power marketing material has been spotted on a Malaysian site alongside the new iPhone smart battery case. This shows that Apple hasn't abandoned air power and we're likely to see a release sometime in 2019. So there you have it. There are all the 2019 iPhone 11 leaks and rumors. Comment below if I missed any and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos like this one.